everyone, this is Paige Evans, and while I was at CHA, I fell in love with these Heidi Swap memory planners. And I admit, I'll be the first to admit, that I've been a little bit hesitant to jump on the planner bandwagon, just because my life is so revolved around Google Calendar, but I combined my love of calendars and lists with this Heidi Swap memory planner, and life is good. So I wanted to take you through the first couple of months in my planner. So I have this gold polka dot Heidi Swap memory planner and inside I've tucked a couple of these receipt pockets and they're fabulous because they have sticky backs. So you peel this off and you can stick them in your planner and you can shove other things besides receipts in there like memorabilia or movie tickets or other fun things. And inside the other pockets I'm just storing some embellishments to decorate the planner whenever I get a spare moment. And I love this magnetic clip. I've stored it right here in the front pocket, but eventually when I need to turn to a page really quickly, I will just snap it on the top and then I'll be able to turn there really fast. And I'll show you some of the embellishments that I'm tucking inside this larger pocket, but I also want to say that I have chicken scratch handwriting and I actually decided to change my handwriting for the purpose of this planner. So I found a font that I liked online and I practiced for a few hours and that is what you will see throughout this book. So I'm just going through the embellishments. There's washi tape stickers. Those were uh, gold glitter stickers. Um, what are Hole reinforcements to make the pages stronger and puffy stickers and I'm just storing them all in this pocket. My favorite pen is the American Crafts .01 black precision pen. And let's start flipping through. So I love these acetate pages for decoration and then the calendar markers are really sturdy. This is a P that I made at CHA using the We Are Memory Keepers alphabet punch board, which is a really fun tool. And then these little pocket pages that I've added a few embellishments to that just make it really fun to turn through. I've added a quote that I found on Pinterest to this beautiful floral circle, added a quote with washi tape, made a couple of lists of things I'm looking forward to, people I owe thank yous to, and then what I am currently reading in January, like The Martian, Life and Death by Stephanie Meyer, and lots more. So many books out there, not enough time to read. So here's my January at a glance. Obviously, the first was New Year's Day. And then there's church, no school, or back to school. I had to scrap like three days in a row for my fancy free collection. And then of course going to CHA in Utah and Pink Paisley, photo shoots, meeting with friends, flying back to Germany. January has been very busy, but it's busy is good. And I've got Paper World coming up next weekend. Here I've added another quote in the little quote box, a couple of goals, things that are going on really good place to keep track of everything at once. Okay, since the week started on a, what is that, Thursday or Friday, I just added a couple of quotes with washi tape to the empty page, an embellishment divider, and then started writing down everything that happened. So yeah, it was already the 22nd of January by the time I started filling things out, but I luckily was able to remember all of these days, and it's kind of like my journal too. I've combined a journal and lists and like a diary all into one. So I'm using some Heidi Swap glitter thick glitter stickers as well as just other bits and pieces from her line and other collections from like Ellie Studio to make this my own. And I stapled flowers in there and you can add other bits and pieces like I added my uh, business card with a little bit of washi tape and if I didn't have much to say, these stickers are great prompts, like best thing I ate today, I enjoyed chatting with, today was awesome. And then, you know, things I did. It was Saturday was a very busy day, of people to meet and places to be, flying home. And then I liked, I stapled this heart embellishment and trimmed off the excess. Just add a little bit more whimsy. I love how a lot of things are foiled so you catch that glimmer when you're turning the page. Home sweet home, so good to be back. 
no school. So, okay, this is a stamp from Ashley Goldberg in the Seven Paper Studio Calico collection, and it is so great for list makers. There's squares, circles, asterisks, dots. So um, now you'll be seeing that a lot for lists. Instead of transferring my list from the sticky note into the into my planner, I just attach the sticky note right in there. So here's the present. Here's what's going on this weekend and notes about you know what I what I wanted to do oh yesterday was four degrees so it's always fun to go back in and add little things to help you you know to make it more personable personable personal <laughs> the UPS man is coming on Monday can't forget and then as the days go by I think at the end of every day I'll go through and jot some more things down paper world is coming up next weekend in Frankfurt so it's like the European version of CHA and on this last page I can add some more journaling or I plan to attach some Instax photos. Turning this lovely acetate page and then we start again in February. So I've, um, oh here's a tag that I made at CHA using new Heidi Swap Mink mixed media materials and the ombre pink and gold foil. I stapled this frame inside so it doesn't fall out. And I've started making a list of things to do, added another quote, taped in a little heart, and once it's February, I'll start writing down what I'm currently reading. Can't forget about Valentine's Day in February, so um, here's my month at a glance so far. We're taking a trip to Vienna over Valentine's, and then there's no school, you know, bills that need to be paid. February is a leap year. Added a quote to this little quote box. And then important things happening, pages, pages 07, Fancy Free is available in one month, and finalizing my next Pink Paisley collection, which already has a name, but I cannot divulge what it is yet. <laughs> so, like I said, it's quite sparse, just a few notes here and there, but um, again, every day I'll plan to go back and write things down. Stamped those squares, what I need to pack. And basically, this is just a really fun way to combine, like I said, my love of Google Calendar and lists and scrapbooking all into one. So I hope you are inspired to start creating planners, too. I know there's tons of planners out there. I'm not too familiar with what there is, but this is what I had access to at CHA, and I'm so excited to jump into this world of planner love and planner nerds and all those other fun hashtags that go along with these planners. So let me know if you have any questions about anything. I will do my best to help and I will also do a blog post about these so you can see the pictures better and up close and thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day.